Hello YouTube, this is Dynico Blue here. Welcome back to another Diecast review. Today we are going to be taking a look at two brand new Thomasville Racing Legends cars. Here we got Parker Brakester and Chip Gearings. Now these two, like I said, they are brand new and it is about time that we get brand new Thomasville Racing Legends. We are already confirmed of a third wave of the singles for 5 Beach Racers, yet we still didn't really get complete confirmation of singles for Thomasville Racing Legends. Now we did know these guys were coming out, but it was a little while ago that we did find out that these were being released as singles. This one's supposed to come out in a five pack that was leaked like a couple months ago. Who knows if that's even gonna come out, honestly? But yeah, I'm super excited about these two. These two, Parker Brakes and Chip Gearings, in my personal opinion, they're some of my favorite stock cars out of all the 36 of them. So the fact that they made both of them is very awesome and even more awesome. I was actually one of the first people to find this on the, s the store. I literally found these at my local Walmart, the day that people started reporting of finding these guys in the store. So I was one of the first, and I was super excited because I live in Florida, and Florida's not exactly, you would say, to be the best state to find the newer cars, but I just got super lucky now, and I know a lot of people have been finding this case as well. It has been widely distributed, and I'm super happy about that. Unlike some cases, I'm glad this one was widely distributed, and I'm very happy about that. Nice job, Mattel. If only you can do that for everything. Now, before you ask, these are still China cars. These aren't made in Thailand. They're still made in China cars. One way you are able to tell is because they don't have the ridge for the name tag. It's still flat on the little blister right there. But yeah, we are going to compare these two with the six other Thomasville Racing Legends as well. And let's just get right into the review. Now, I do not know if I'm going to be the first person to review these on YouTube. Even if I'm not, I'm still happy to be a very early person to be reviewing these cars. Because they just look super cool. I'm not sure if they're my favorites. And, they, and if, even if they are, sometimes it's because they're newer and it's something, you know, new and not just the old ones. But yeah, let's just get right into this review. Now, we're only going to take a look at one of their packages. And that's going to be Parker Brakes. And since, you know, they basically have the generally same stuff on them. So as you guys can see, Parker breaks in on the name tire there, Thomasville Tribute right there. We're going to talk about the H.J. Hollis thing when we open him up. We have the fabulous Lia McQueen right there on a wooden billboard, it looks like. I really like that. Right here, it looks to be McQueen and Junior Moon. Now, on the back, I was hoping it might leak some other new Thomasville Racing Lunch that's not... That's going to come out soon, but unfortunately, it didn't. Although, it does leak the other new one that is in Wave 2 along with them, Chip Gearings right here. Although, for some reason, on the back of Chip Gearings, doesn't show Parker. Instead, it shows Jackson, which is kind of strange in my opinion. But yeah, just the usual stuff. Nothing really changed about the packaging. Same background image as well with Smokey, River Scott, Junior Moon, and Luis Nash. Alright, enough talking, and let's unbox these Thomasville Tribute cards. Alright guys, so we do have them out of the box, both looking spectacular. So let's go right into the review of both of these. Starting from left to right, I'm going to go with my least favorite to my favorite. I know there's only two, but which one I prefer over the other. Personally, looking at them up close right now, I think I do prefer chip gearing design a little bit more. So we're going to start off with Parker Brakeson first, and we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with this one right here. So as you guys can see, it looks like he does have a couple of sponsors on him. As I see, it says Jen's Diner, Tortson Trucking Company, Motor Oil right there, which I think is on another one of those Thomas o Racing Legends from Wave 1. Right there, it kind of looks to say... Pilot Mount NC, maybe NC stands for North Carolina, as some of these do direct to a specific state. We have 68 right there with tonight, with a very nice, like, black shadow on the background. I think that actually looks really cool. We have gasoline, like, Southern Gold. That is actually the sponsor, I believe, that Jet Robinson has, which is an upcoming 2019 release. And it is the sponsor of, apparently, Herb Kerbler's favorite old-timer. A Jet Robinson, obviously. Now, the front of him right here has a nice happy expression with the brown eyes and the flat eyelids. Now, I really do like how they didn't keep a grill on him because Parker Brakeson is one of the rarer stock cards to not actually have a grill slash mustache right there. And they did keep that on here. I was afraid that they're going to put a mustache on him and make him an actor, but I'm glad they did. We have his headlights right there, the air vents, 68 under the headlights. Since nowadays, obviously, they are real, real working headlights. As you guys see, his design changed completely. The only color that he still kind of remains is the green, but it's obviously a completely different color green. It's almost like a dentist green, I guess you could say. I don't even know that's a color, but like, I don't know. It just looks more faded and bland, almost like a 
bluish or dirty pool water. I don't know, something like that. This is more like a neon vibrant green, so his green completely changed. He still has white, no purple on him. It makes him look like he's not even Parker Brakeson. He looks like a completely different racer, and honestly, I think I kind of like that, as I guess he's supposed to be like his favorite old-timer. We have H.J. Hollis on the side now before. I said I was going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about this now. You guys might be thinking, what, does that mean that his name's H.J. Hollis, and H.J. Hollis, like, got some sort of surgery or something, made him a new model to next gen? That's overthinking it, guys. That simple mistake from Mattel and obviously if you guys do not know some of them have the old time they're trying to like display on their paint job on their roof edges or on the side right here some have their actual name for him he didn't put it but for some reason I don't know why Mattel screwed him up with HJ Hollis but this is supposed to say Parker Brakeson on the side right here as his name it is in cursive and black text but like come on Mattel you had to really really screw up on that like, come on you had one job Mattel one job just one job Unbelievable. But anyway, back to the review. 68 on the roof, so he still has the same number. I doubt that his old timer also had the same number, but it is a possibility. No text on the tires. It does remain the same green color that is on most of him right there. He has the black window bars in the back. On the back, nothing too special, actually. He still has his camera with just 68. And the tail lights. There's not really like any slogan or anything. No decals on the hood. And that's pretty much it. Here's just a nice little 36. Let's just zoom out a little bit so you can see him better. This is a nice look comparison side by side between the two Parker Brakes. Now, personally, I like him 100% better with the N2O Cola design. This one just looks too bland, in my opinion. I don't really like the color choices, personally, so I'm going to have to go with the normal Parker Brakes in here. But yeah, I think it still is pretty cool, though. He does remain the same brown color eyes, and he does have the same exact expression as his normal version. Same with Chip Gearing, which is going to be a nice transformation here. His... Um, Thomas Will Racing Legend version also does not have a different expression. They do remain the same expression. But one thing, you know how I was talking about how Parker breaks in? Both of them don't have the grills and mustaches. Well, apparently, either Mattel made a mistake, or we just have to believe that during the events, like, after Cars 3, Chip Gary decided to get, like, a mustache or grill or grow out one. It's pretty interesting right there. You guys see, he does have a grill on this one. This one does not. We have the headlights right there. Like I said, same exact expression. He also has brown eyes, and now his white, green, and blue design is completely out of this body. Obviously, the only color that remained is white. So instead of green and blue, it's red and yellow, which I think actually looks pretty cool. And as you guys see, the front part of him right there is red, but then it kind of transforms into the yellow as you get more toward the back. You still have a red as like an outline of the side windows right there, flat eyelids. He does sport the number 11. Now, if you guys do not know, Chip Gearings was actually the first Thomas Hill Racing Legend to be revealed, but he had a different paint job. I'll put a picture on the screen right now of his original paint job. I don't know exactly why they changed it. Like, I think it actually would have been cool to get that one released. Maybe it will be released but with a different racer sporting it, but that's just a possibility. It's just a little theory of mine. But yeah, as you guys see from the picture on the screen right now, he had a different design, but then they changed it. I don't know why exactly they changed it. I mean, I do like this a lot, but I'm still kind of curious as to why they changed it from the old design. But yeah, Chip Gurney's was the first one to be released despite him not being in Wave 1. And as you guys see, he also has some additional sponsors on the side. Now, as you guys see, this one, Chip Gearings, actually has a Dynaco additional sponsor right there with the old Dynaco logo, Gasoline. You see a dinosaur right there, just like nowadays, but it's a different dinosaur, a different type of dinosaur. Fits right, brake pads, faster, or faster as garage, tune-up, brakes, belts, and lube oil. Oil Grand Old Company. I think that is on a couple other of the Tom Salvation Lens. See, this is how Parker Brakeson should be. It's just a Parker Brakeson on the side right there. And they did it right for Chip Garrens. Not like they called him Chris Roman. So why did they call him H.J. Hall? It makes no sense. Also, it's kind of curious how they're not on the roof edges. I guess if, pre if the cars were to have their names back then, they would put them on the side. That's my little theory. And it is, most likely. We have 11 right there. And the font of the 11 is different on the newer version. As you guys see, this one, I feel like it, like, curves more. This is just, like, a square design, I guess you could say. More, like, technical. This one is just, like, plain, you know? I don't know exactly how to describe it. You can see the ones, they're a little different. This almost looks like, the, this one almost looks like a 77. But right there, you can see the black shadow right there in the background. 
So yeah, it's pretty cool. And on the back right there, he does actually have some of the text that's on the side. But unlike Parker Brakeson, his back literally only has his number 68. I think he also will have a camera on the back as though right there was along with the taillights. Also, am I the only one who kind of gets shifty drug vibes when I see this paint job? Like, they are pretty similar if you think about it. They both also kind of have, like, that curve right there that goes down the bottom. Just me? Okay. But, I mean, they do look really similar overall. I'm definitely getting, like, shifty drug vibes when I see this paint job. I got two questions for you guys for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. Number one, which one do you prefer, Chip Gearing's? or Parker Briggs as their Thomasville Racer versions. And question number two, what is your favorite Thomasville Racing Legend released so far? I really do like the Metallic McQueen paint job, but if you do not count McQueen, I don't know, I think it might, for me personally, might either be Chip Gearings or Cal Weathers. Now, I try to do the best Christmas setup I can, and it was like limited time too, so it's not the best. I definitely plan for bigger things as a Christmas setup. This is how it is right now, I just put like, lights around it they don't light up and a couple of the stuff that i get from packages in the mail of diecast cars you know like those little like stuffing things i guess i just try to make it look like snow so that's just kind of just what i have i wanted to do something christmasy i might not even do a christmas special this year but yeah something like that but anyway merry christmas anyway we'll see you guys all next time in the next video thank you so much for watching thank you guys so so much make sure to leave a like on this video already if you have not it'll definitely show your amazing support for this channel also make me a follow on my instagram at dynamicalblue33 underscore official gonna appear right up in the upper left hand corner but anyway see you guys next time peace out